Okay. All right, says we're recording, and uh, it does look like you can hear me. Yes, okay, good. It does look like you can hear me. So uh, I was just saying, uh, we are going to do mailbag this morning. It's probably going to be um, at like 10 minutes late, and we're already like three minutes late, uh, maybe more like 15. Anyway, I'm going to try to see you real quick. Uh, I'll be back. Um, until then, we're going to let these kids run around a little bit more.
we got another camera ready now. Sorry I'm late. Hang on now, let's check this out real quick. You want to check the mail for me, bud? Good idea. This box is so nicely decorated that I feel bad that I couldn't bring it in here sooner to show it off. It's got all these wonderful drawings on it. So you can have a look at it while I bring in a couple more. There's a couple more boxes, but we're running so late. Let's get started with this. Also, I know I don't have my toolkit because it's upstairs, but that's fine too. So first off, I want to correct something, uh, which is yesterday's close-up. I said that this little guy is getting adopted today, but of course I got the day wrong. It's tomorrow. So he's going to be with us. This is, uh, this is Caliper, and he's going to be with us until tomorrow when he's going to get adopted. But he can still do his goodbye wave. Say goodbye to the camera. Look over there. Say goodbye. Okay, well, good enough. It's over there, though. So you want here. Watch this. And I'll say bye-bye. Okay. That'll do, I guess. <laughs> All right. So he's going to get picked up by his adopter tomorrow. And then, of course, you know the kids upstairs um, are doing just great all around. There's, uh, they're super healthy, wonderful. Um, the only reason you can't see them right now is I think they're laying on their close-up camera. Um, but uh, the, the admins can switch that camera back on if it gets a better view at any point. Uh, that doesn't interrupt anything that we're doing here. Um, and I think that's it. So let's let's get right into it because we are running so late. So first off, this came today in the post. It's a very cute little uh, kitten uh, that looks like it's wearing a sheet. But all it says on the back is, this is not a ghost. It is a cat after leaving the most epic tissue pit ever. Tissue pits are the best. More tissue pits. So uh, if you were watching, uh, we well, I mean, there's still a tissue pit in the other room. I just moved it over. But uh, yeah, this is what inspired me to bring the tissue pit up before mailbag today. Uh, thank you for that. You're absolutely right. The tissue pits are so fun. And Caliper especially seems to really enjoy it, even without his two brothers here. Uh, I can't wait to see what the new kids are going to do with uh, tissue pits. But uh, that's that's really a cute card. So thank you for that. And uh, yeah, exactly what made me think to do that. Uh, also, the reason that we're late is um, the, the camera that we're using is the one that was in the, uh, the kitten room upstairs. 
and it smelled poopy, frankly. And I thought I had enough time to build a new little brace for it instead of trying to clean the one that was there. I had this plan for a different design uh, that will let us uh, reposition the camera a little bit more easily. Uh, and I, it was a, such a simple design, I thought um, I could just whip it out real quick and get it done. But uh, just running a few minutes you know, behind on that. Otherwise, it, it came out just like I wanted it to, which is nice. Uh, it still needs to have like some little rubber feet put on it or something so it doesn't get kicked around. Uh, right now, if, they, if, they, if any of them decide to start banging on the camera, it's just going to slide all over the wood floor. Uh, but otherwise, it's looking pretty good. Um, and I'll probably have to build a couple more of those because uh, I want to replace the one that's on the camera that's upstairs now. And uh, I also have a third floor camera that has been in the closet upstairs for quite a while, uh, waiting for a real purpose and waiting for me to uh, build a, a new bracket for it. And since this is such an easy design, I can finally get that done. Uh, whatever, you, uh, you don't need to care about that. Um, oh, okay, let's turn this thing. This, is, this has got fun pictures on every side. Um, let me check the chat real quick to make sure everybody can hear me, and then we'll get into things that aren't uh, letters, because there's just the one there. Um, let's see here. Where is that? Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. So yeah, I'm running late, but it does seem like everybody can hear me okay, and that's good news. All right. Um, is there other news? I don't think there is, actually. I think that's about it. Um, uh, you know, so I, I mentioned that uh, Caliper here is going to get his adopter tomorrow, and then it's the 4th, which, uh, what day of the week is that? Um, uh, the 4th must be uh, Thursday, Friday? I don't know. Anyway, um, the 4th is when um, uh, uh, Trinket here will get her adopter on the 4th, and then... Uh, it is uh, Ocean is the only one then that will be left, and she will be here until December 4th, a month later, and then she'll get picked up by her adopter. So that's the adoption schedule right now, as we understand it. Very exciting. Uh, little Caliper is just, he, he is, oh, man, Ochi, that was uncalled for. Ocean, come on, Trinket, come here, fine. Um, Caliper is just craving something new in his life. He's, he's so like, he wants to go through every cabinet and every door and uh, find something new and interesting. So he's ready uh, for tomorrow to be his, his adventure. Uh, and I think he's going to really have a good time. With that. I think it's going to be um, fun for him. So, all right, uh, let's, let's open some stuff here. Let's see. Um, I'm going to have to use my regular knife, but I will be careful. I promise everybody. Uh, this is from, I think this said this was from Michelle J, uh, who does have a name that we know, I think, on Discord, which I can, I can never think of when I need to because, uh, I don't know, all that stuff is difficult for me. <laughs> but uh, this says, Chips Toys, it must be uh, from an Etsy. Hey, Oshi, I hope that's play. I think she's trying to play. It doesn't seem like they're upset. Uh, oh, this is crazy. This is very Halloween-y. Uh, it is like a, a cleaver with a blood on it. My goodness. Uh, and it says, from Mishi60 on Discord. That's it. There we go. See, now I know. Sorry about that. Um, and it just says, cleaver, butcher, knife, catnip, cat toy. Well, that is that is exactly what it is. It's a very Halloween-y sort of thing to arrive. And I'm sure they will have fun with it. I don't know exactly when we're supposed to celebrate Halloween here. Uh, I was kind of planning on tomorrow, since that is officially Halloween. Um, but, you know, uh, people who have kids, they, they trick or treat. And it's, it's sort of random as far as I can tell what day they're going to do that on. I mean, I'm sure there's some rhyme or reason to it. But I never, on the end, uh, I never know when it's going to be. So I don't know if we're going to get kids at the door today or if we're going to get kids at the door tomorrow or if we're not going to get any kids at the door at all. Um, but I did mention I have a costume I'm planning on trying to wear tomorrow since tomorrow I don't have much else going on uh, except for this adoption. Uh, uh, we, we tried to keep tomorrow uh, sort of a, a free day to for me to hang out with DJ specifically is the plan because we haven't really seen too much of each other. So uh, that is what we're going to do. Anyway, Chip's Toy Store, and apparently this is already a little hit with this guy. Um, he's cleaved right onto it. So uh, I guess that can be his unless we hear otherwise. But I, I assume being Halloween, there's just not much else to do with it, uh, honestly. Uh, very cool, though. Very cool Halloween-y cat toy. All right, buddy. There you go. 
All right, next up, uh, let's see here. Well, I don't know what this is. Let's find out together. Hmm. Could it be art? I'm hoping it's art. It's uh, in an envelope. And well, let's see if I can get this open carefully. What? Oh, oh, she is so riled up. Now she's going to wrestle with uh, Caliber right there. It does appear to be some kind of frame. Carefully. Wow, it's just, it's tucked in there so tightly. Okay. Maybe there will be a note inside here as well. Oh, ho, ho. it's a, one of those letter boards, actually. And it just says, this is so cute. Uh, oh, coffee, coffee, coffee. Uh, apparently it's a card because it looks like this is either built right in or glued on. How cool is that? Uh, and it says, thank you, Stuart and Lisa. Isn't that cute? So this says, okay for stream. Awesome. Thank you, Stuart and Lisa. You know what's up. Uh, oh, you got pictures of your cats, Max and Holly. So cute. Wow. Uh, you say, uh, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I just wanted to send a quick note thanking you for all you do for the cats and kittens in your care. In particular, I appreciate your efforts to bring back the close-ups. Over the last several years, my wife and I did not watch the news, but always look forward to Kitten Academy close-ups. The kitten goodness would always cheer us up. Maybe the news needs a no-sads policy. I'm sure it's a lot of work at times. Especially at the poops all over the place stage, but keep up the good work from Stuart and Lisa, who are Merlin to you on Discord. And uh, I will carefully show you the picture of Max and Holly. How cute are they? Uh, thank you, Stuart and Lisa. Merlin to you. I appreciate that thought. And I know uh, in the last week, I haven't really done very many of the close ups I'd like, but I tried to make up for it by having the micro close ups I have a lot of very close up kittens in them. So I hope that. Uh, sort of did make up for it. This is really cute, and it's going to have to go uh, buy my coffee, of course. Thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I have been trying to get back to the close-ups, and I mentioned in the last one that we did just get, what was it, yesterday, the day before, I've lost all track of time. Uh, I did mention that YouTube has increased our quota, so now there's no fear of running up against that and uh, having it cut off on me unexpectedly. So uh, we're in real good shape as far as that goes. Now, of course, there's always something breaking somewhere, so um, I know that the last couple mailbags haven't been uploaded yet, uh, and that's on me to just uh, make a quick repair to that part. And, uh, it's just, it's constantly sort of maintenance. Now look at the side of this thing. This is, uh, this is just fantastic. Uh, it is uh, like one of our cat trees with cats. There's little kittens on the shelves and someone playing over here. And the, the thing, and you may not be able to read, it says, Sky Raisin, oh, I see. Uh, and uh, the, the kitten's trying to catch it, but it got away and it's saying, ugh. Uh, that's very cute. All right, uh, something may have just buzzed over here. Did this buzz? Oh, Halloween 31st Monday. What is today? Oh, today's the 29th. Oh, Halloween is Monday. Okay, see, so this is exactly it. I doubt the kids are going to trick or treat on Monday. They're probably going to trick or treat tonight or tomorrow. Um, so I'm prepared for anybody to show up at the door, but I guess then, uh, thank you for that correction. I know it's the 31st. I just didn't know what day today was. Um, and that would be why the fourth then was probably closer to Friday, which also makes more sense. All right, it's all coming together now. Uh, it's just off by one, a common error for programmers to have. Uh, so uh, that means I guess it'll be Monday when I get to finally dress up in my costume. And that's fine with me too. That'll work out even better because then uh, I won't have to take away from the adoption tomorrow or hanging out with DJ with that uh, nonsense. It really is. It's just silly. And, uh, but I'm looking forward to it. So. Okie dokie. Um, I, I'm excited to open this, but there's also one more picture that we have to look at on it. So I'm going to leave that for a minute and we'll come back around to it. But uh, let's first go to this, which we know from the stickers must be from the B&B &B sisters. And uh, that is borne out by the return address. <laughs> so let's see what we have here. Down signs. All right. Bringing the whole house down. Uh, this is cute. It's kittens uh, baking in the kitchen. Uh, a nicely appointed kitchen. And uh, oh, wow. There's kittens everywhere. The longer you look, the more you see. They're in the cabinets. And there's one on the chandelier. 
There's one in the sink with water pouring on his head, making a funny expression. That is a great little painting. Hmm. I guess it's by Steve Reed, uh, R-E-A-D Reed. Hello to all at Kitten Academy. This card made us smile thinking of the various times we've seen you in the kitchen with your tiny kitten helpers. Please use the enclosed items as you see fit. Thank you both for all you do for those beautiful mom cats and their kittens. The B&B &B sisters, P.S. Coots babies are so adorable. Oh, I couldn't agree more. Uh, let me take a picture of this before Ocean, for some reason, has decided that this card needs chewing of all the things. Uh, let me take a picture of this so I can share it with the Discorders at least, though, because it's so detailed. And like I said, the longer I look, the more I see. And don't play with that knife. Here, play with the card. You had it right the first time. There you go. Okay, well, you take it away then. Okay, thanks, B&B &B sisters. <laughs> I, guess, I guess it's not my card. It's Oshi's card. She's such a kitten. Uh, she really is. Uh, her adopters are just going to love her. So, all right. Uh, once again, the B&B &B sisters have sent some very colorful blankets. Look at that. Uh, I, I mentioned, I, you know, I haven't looked at, to see that art uh, that I mentioned last time in the basement that reminds me of this, the, the watercolor that I've got that's just beautiful. Uh, but I do love this style. Uh, I should look to see who that artist was, or any of these artists are. Um, that's a lovely watercolor. There's another one here. I say watercolor. I don't, I don't know if that's what it was. This one's got big splashes of what looked like watercolor to me, though. Look at that right there. And those eyes are wonderful. And all these primary colors, just bright and bold. And uh, I think once we have to put away the Halloween stuff, maybe we'll be able to get some of these out in the room, too. I think a lot of these are also going to end up going home with adopters because we like to, to uh, send home blankets that have been used here at the Academy so that, um, well, first off, because that way we keep up a rotation and also then the kittens get to go home with something that is familiar and smells like us. This is so pretty. DJ's going to love this one. He's got little watercolor kitties with ink um, faces and uh, some little uh, flowers all around and this sort of salmon pink color. It's beautiful. And they're all so soft. Uh, I, that's that's a great design. They're so cute. Um, then, all uh, right, underneath the blankets, we have all kinds of things. So a couple of cases of Fancy Feast, Chicken Feast, Classic Pate, which is great. Uh, we have been building up quite a reserve in this since we started serving the dry food, it seems like. Well, or maybe just because there were only three kittens in the last class. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, we've got our regular order on uh, through Chewy, and they just keep sending it every week. And I felt like, whoa, we're getting really behind. But all of a sudden, um, uh, Kahuti and her five kittens are ravenous eaters. They went through like over 20 cans of food in, in between the, the six of them, including mom, uh, in one day. And uh, that's, that's about average for them lately is an entire case uh, just for them in a day. Uh, yeah, a little less than an entire case, but uh, yeah, so now we're getting caught up on that, uh, the the stock that we have, and so every little extra bit is, is always appreciated, um, and you've sent a couple of those, so those are going to go uh, real fast. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, let's see, we've got a box of, are these mice or little fuzzy balls? Oh, wow, they're just little fuzzy uh, balls. I haven't seen those in a while. So uh, in various colors, you can see the cyan one in there and this, oh, they're soft too, a little softer than I expected. That's going to be a fun choice. They're sort of like the fur balls that the kittens love so much, but um, not made from real fur. So uh, it'd be interesting to see. I, I think they're going to like those quite a bit. Uh, we got a couple of fish here with uh, tails, tails on. Somebody out there is running around too and being wild. Uh, everybody, I guess, is in the mood today. Uh, we've got some little real fur mice here, or maybe uh, just furry mice. I bet they, they, yes, they also have little rattles in them. Oh, she's flipping out again. Speaking of Oshi flipping out, uh, here are some uh, sort of medium-sized Charlie balls, which are one of her favorite things to play with. Of course, right now she's, she's playing with everything she comes across, but I can usually find her playing with or, or, uh, or carrying around one of these in particular, so she's going to enjoy having a couple extra of those. Uh, we just call them Charlie Balls because Charlie was the first kitten we had that was a huge fan of them. That's not an official name or anything. I don't know. I would call them Sparkly Tinsel Balls, maybe, if I was looking for a generic name. This calls them Sparkle Ball. All right. Two-inch spark Sparkle Ball. Works for me. Oh, these are so cute. Here we have little mice dressed up like mermaids. Hi. Hi, Oshi. Oh, she's going to end up yanking that cable, and that camera's just going to slide all over the place. Uh, these mermaids are very cute little mouse mermaids. 
Here we have a unicorn kitty with a crinkly uh, skirt on, which is also going to be a very fun one. Uh, those are both a very sort of a whimsical fantasy theme. See, I knew that was going to happen. I'll move it back. Uh, we got a couple of these oh, little fish here. Maybe if I move it up just a little bit and put it on the rug, uh, we'll have a better time with that. Let's try it out. Uh, I will fix that later. I just got to put, like I said, some little rubber feet will fix that problem. Uh, anyway, we got these beautiful, um, uh, like beta fish, I think, sort of. And uh, I thought it's so, oh, I did. Here it is. Uh, we've got these strange fat mice. They have little mouse, mouse faces on them, but they've got that weird uh, material. I still haven't figured out what to call it. And feather tails. They're super cute and squishy. Play toys. All right. Doesn't really say anything about it. Um, Plus, you have sent, ooh, what is this? This is Road Trip Cruising Plush Cat Toy. Oh, I see. It's like an old uh, woods panel Volkswagen. Wow. And a map of the United States. That is a, that's a cute set. So there you go. A very uh, uh, National Lampoon family vacation. And then this has got a few, <clears throat> excuse me, locations marked on the map. Um, but... Uh, We've got fabulous dog Vegas and puppy wood, which is interesting for what's very clearly a cat toy. Um, I guess you can go either way. It says plush cat toy with catnip. So I guess that's maybe where they visit the dogs. I don't know. Uh, strange decision to include those things, but that's a very cute toy that they can enjoy. Plus, here we have a set that is a uh, pineapple and carrot cat toy. Uh, very descriptive because that's exactly what it is. Pineapple and carrot. And it's made from a material that's like a loofah. Uh, it might actually be a loofah that's been sort of compressed. That's interesting, too. I've seen a few toys made out of that kind of thing. I can imagine that they must like that in their teeth. That would be fun to chew on. Uh, here we have a protein bar and gym membership card <laughs> for some kitties that are going to end up very strong. That's cute. Uh, that's very cute. Not only that, the protein bar is wearing a sweatband, so that's how you know it's not a chocolate bar. It says protein on it, too, and it's got a little muscle man. Uh, that's cute with the gym membership card. Uh, these theme toys are ridiculous. And then, oh, we got some Christmas toys. This is a mailbox uh, that says, oh, no, it's not a mailbox. It's a milk carton. And two gingerbread cookies for Santa. I see. So they're gingerbread cookies and a milk carton. And uh, the milk carton has Santa's face on it to Santa. That's very cute, too. And uh, especially considering today is the day that we're putting up the Christmas tree. Uh, DJ schedules that every year for whatever day she finds most convenient because that's sort of her thing. Uh, but we usually do live stream it to our Discorders, which is the plan again this year, of course. I think uh, what we're going to do different than previous years is that I'm probably going to get the tree out and try to put the tree itself up in advance of the stream so that there's a little more time for her to be putting up lights and decorating it during the stream. Uh, but maybe, maybe not. Uh, you know, we'll just play it by ear, as always. Uh, it's not it's not a real formal event. <laughs> we just, uh, you know, uh, I'll do whatever we do. So that's the way that's going to go. So uh, B&B sisters, thank you so much for, for everything. This is wonderful. And uh, some of it I know is going to be great in endowments. And some of it I think is going to be really fun to see around the Academy, uh, you know, in due time. So uh, thank you for that. Trinket is in the box that you sent, but I'm still going to use it to put all this sort of general purpose stuff back into with her. She's general purpose too. All right, there we go. Uh, meanwhile, the blankets will probably go upstairs. And uh, so I'll leave those out. Okay, let's see what this big box is. This might be useful for something too. There's no note outside of this one, so let's see if there's something on the inside. Oh, and let me move this out of the way so that hopefully uh, I should check the cameras again. You can see the last side of this, and this is just the caption there. It just says he's behind me, isn't he? Uh, let me check the cameras. Real quick. Let's see where we're at for that. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, well, you guys can see most of some of the things kind of. Uh, maybe I should switch the ceiling camera on so that there'll be a chance that you can see these kids playing in here too. Uh, which one though? Which one has the better angle? I think this one, just for fun. Oh, I took the annex off though. That wasn't my intent. Let's see. The box camera is just a black screen right now. I wonder though, if I put it on and then I move it, if the kittens might... Uh, react to that. Let's see.
Yeah, not exactly, but oh, look, we can turn it and find some kittens though. That worked, kind of. It doesn't go any lower than that, so I can't see their cute little faces. Shame, oops, oh, oh no, wait, wait, my fault. Hang on, um, right. keep moving. Uh, I don't even know what we're looking at there. I guess that's the wall, All right? Well, I tried. Oh, I think they are reacting a little bit, but more of a, like, leave us alone. Yeah. Whatever, there's not much else to see there either way, so we'll just let it ride. Maybe we'll get lucky and see some kittens moving around in a minute. <laughs> okay, all right, uh, let's continue then. What have we got here? Ooh, wow, I haven't seen one of these in a while. These are the uh, contemplation station, the cardboard uh, cat-headed scratcher bed. Uh, these have been a staple at the Academy in the past. Mm, is there a note? Oh, there is a note. The note says, Aw, dear Trinket, we're, yes, I said your name, Trinket. We're so glad you came to spend time at the Academy. Enjoy your days in your forever home contemplating in our favorite bed. Love, Tahini and Flair. Well, that's so sweet, Tahini and Flair. Trinket will, I think, I think Trinket will really like this. She's in that box right now. Hi, Trinkle. Hi, I see you in there. All right, what are you doing? Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, did we see this side? Did I read what was on here? Because this one's really cool. This is, uh, let's see. This There's tweeting going on back here. It says, tweet, tweet, tweet. Uh, and then let's see, we've got uh, our rocket ship. That's a great likeness of the rocket. And oh, there's a banana phone. The banana phone is ringing and it says, ring, ring, ring. Please leave a message after the meow. That's super cute too. I like the banana phone. I think you guys saw this side already, but probably not in so much detail. So uh, let's let that sit one more time and open whatever this is. This has got some cute little stickers on it too. A kitten's reading books. Uh, some uh, very cute little cat faces. Wow, they're so tiny, though. A little bit difficult probably to see on the screen, but I sure like them. Oh, there's even one cat hugging and licking another one. That's adorable. Let's see what we got in here. The note! Ooh, oh, oh, well, this is familiar all of a sudden. Hang on. Let's let the note talk to us about it. Ooh. Hello, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, mom, cats, and kittens. Happy spooky season. Took me a lot of time, but I was finally able to finish the choice for Ocean and her sailing kit. Sadly, it was not in time. Okay, so this is Spyglass. Uh, sadly, it was not in time to reach you before Spyglass, Blaze, and Astro went to their forever homes. I know you'll get the gifts to them in due time. However, if that's not possible, you're free to use them as you see fit. Oh, that's very kind of you, but I realize... Uh, that um, I probably have stuff to send to Astro. I don't know for sure, but Spyglass, when I was getting Astro stuff together, I realized that there were a couple things I, I missed for Spyglass already. So that's definitely uh, something that's going to have to be done regardless. Um, so uh, I've, uh, this is, uh, let's see, this one's Spyglass, that one's Ocean. This one is for Astro. And this one is for, oh, uh, this one is for Caliper. Uh, I like that. The white's very bold on there. And this one, look, you sent one for Trinket, which is just what you're saying here. Uh, I've also included some toys for sweet little Trinket. She's so fun to watch play with the boys. I hope the toys will be enjoyed by all the kitties and the faculty. Uh, wait, uh, oh, enjoyed by all the kitties. Very much looking forward to the tree decorating party. It's always so much fun to see the kitties and faculty curious about the tree, the lights, and the occasional costumes that show up. Thank you and Dr. DJ for taking in all these precious mom cats, kittens, and the occasional pregnant. Watching their journey with you is so special and really cheers me up on rough days. I don't know how you manage it, but that you do leaves me in awe. Anyway, hope you, Dr. DJ, the faculty, mom cats, and kittens have a safe and happy Halloween. Can't wait to see what you dress up as this year from Chrissy Cat 24 on Discord. Thank you so much, Chrissy Cat 24 on Discord. Um, I'm going to put this stuff back into your box since we don't have a spot for endowments for Oshi's kits yet uh, in this mailbag with your note. Those are really cute. Thank you so much for those. I know that their adopters are going to appreciate them. And two, uh, the adopters of Astro and Spyglass, um, uh, as, as I'm sure you are aware, 
I will mail you those things in due time, which means probably not soon, uh, but we'll see. Maybe I'll get around to it sooner than usual, uh, considering uh, how I've been trying to get back on top of stuff in general. Uh, we'll see. I see Caliper wants to take his right now. Well, you'll, you'll get yours tomorrow, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's, you're being very gentle for a Caliper. I don't understand, buddy. All right. Uh, well, hey, let's open this thing. It's been sitting here the whole time, and uh, we keep looking at it. I guess it's time to open this from Joy F, by the way. Uh, we all know Joy F on the Discord and uh, from plenty of prior mailbags. It's awesome. The knife guard is there. That's good. It's not normally necessary, but with this knife, it's uh, more necessary than usual. Um, wow, that's a 3D knife card, too. And we have some notes, and look at that. We've got some tissue uh, ready to go for another tissue fit. I guess I can add it to the current tissue fit. Whoop. Okay. Uh, no, it's silica gel. Don't eat that. All right. Pop-up card for kittens and cats to chomp, to play with this crossed out to chomp. That's so sweet. <laughs> Oh, wow. This was very ornate. Look at those little sparkly butterflies. That's going to be so fun. If I leave it here, I know uh, if the kittens don't see it, and it's to, if Cal, uh, maybe I should bring it upstairs. You do say kittens and cats. Well, anyway, Maggie's the one that usually ends up destroying these things. So we'll, we'll leave it here for a minute and see what happens. But if I think of it, it's still alive. We will bring it upstairs to the little kittens. I bet they would have a lot of fun with it because it's just their size. And it's beautiful. So pretty. Um... Let's see, you wrote a long note. It says, Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Hope everything is well. I recently went to the Pumpkin Festival in uh, Bradenton, Florida. I think that I got that name right. There was a lady there that makes beautiful pieces of art out of gourds. This year, she had cats. I saw an orange cat. It made me think of all the orange kittens and cats that had tiptoed, made biscuits, and pounced into our hearts during their time at the Academy. All oranges, past, present, and future. Oh, well, you must be describing what's in here because now, or maybe you are now. Okay. Oh, wow. This is all so packed in them. Okay. You say the green pod can replace the orange one as it looks like it's been well loved. It didn't get to take the scenic route like the orange one. Sorry, green pod. You need to arrive sooner rather than later. So the orange pod's right back there, by the way. I just ran the vacuum cleaner inside and outside the orange pod this morning when I was vacuuming and it, it turned out uh, it looks almost brand new right now. Although it does get compressed more than it gets slept in these days, uh, it gets slept on, which is fine with me. I think that's a perfect use of the thing. Uh, and I can see the top of what looks like one uh, in here, but it's underneath everything else. So we'll get to that in a minute. Um, the bananas and silver vine sticks and wool balls are for Kahooties cuties. Any extras can be deployed or used as you see fit. Aww. This is so cute. It's a little Mary Meyer doggy that says, uh, he's got a collar on that says hoodwink. Uh, so I got ahead of that, I guess. The plushies ship separately, but I finally got them in time to add them to the box. Okay. Uh, I'm not an artist by any means, but I have fun drawing and trying to add color to it so it wouldn't be so bland. Well, it's wonderful. Uh, many thanks for all you and DJ do for mom, cats, and their kittens. The world needs more Mr. A's and DJ's. Kitten hugs uh, from Joy, Abby, Bayou, Bayou, and Lila, and my newest addition to the family. I think this says Cora Bean, which is a very cute name, Cora Bean. All right, so uh, this is a cute little doggy for Hoodwink, and it, I can see why you picked it for Hoodwink. Uh huh. It works out. Oh, and they're individually wrapped, so let's rewrap them in these uh, cute little tissues. Oh, look, I just stuck them right there. Okay, this must be another one of these then. This is an owl for bamboozle. I love that it's got the little collars on because I have, uh, you know, normally you've sent uh, them straight to us as a drop shipment, and then I've got to find the note and figure out which was which, uh, which I, have, I think been pretty successful in. Uh, but these collars with the little uh, names on them are super cute. This says Flim Flam. Adorable for the little fox for Flim Flam. They're so soft to these little Mary Meyer plushies. Uh, and this is not a plushie, actually. This one is a replacement uh, catnip, yow catnip pineapple. That'll be great for whoever our next mom cat is. So I'm going to put that right in there. Here we have uh, felted balls for cuties, cahooties, cuties, and mom. 
I did not know that they uh, sold these this way. These are nicely felted too. They're like exactly what you'd expect to get from, well, whoever made those pods that you sent, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, where are we putting endowments for these kids though? Do, do, we don't really have a box for that yet. So I guess we'll end up using your box. I guess I'll set them right here for a moment. Okay, we'll come back to that. Here we have, oh, now these are a big hit with everybody. These are those silver vine sticks that have the feathers on each end and the silver vine nugget and the bells. They've got like a little bit of everything. So these are for extras, uh, deployment or endowment, kahooties, kahooties. Uh, DJ also likes to keep a couple of these to hand out. You, I know you're excited, but you've got one somewhere around here. Why don't you find the one you've already got for now, okay? Um, anyway, these are great toys and in fact, you probably have seen the kittens upstairs have been chewing on these already. Uh, I was comparing them to puppy dogs, you know, like with a stick. Uh, they love these things. They've got one in their room. Awesome choice. Uh, also, here, you want that? Look at that. He already knocked this thing down. Oh, put it back up. Let's see. Um, Oh, wow, this one's a unicorn, very pretty, and that's for Mayhem. Well, of course, the unicorn, because she's got that little dot in the middle of her forehead, like a like a budding unicorn. Very cute. And, all right, one more, I think. A little blue monkey for Hogwash the boy. Uh, that's also very appropriate and cute. Uh, thank you so much for those. Other adopters are gonna think those are adorable. And I just, I love the names of the callers. It, it makes it really even all the more special, I think. Uh, you sent us a lovely bunch of bananas. Yes, we have bananas. Uh, so we got a three, six bananas. That's probably one for each kitten upstairs, plus their mom would be my guest. That works out very well. Uh, oh, this must be the gourd you were talking about, the, the, uh, the gourd. I see. Oh, wow. That is really something. Uh, I don't know what I expected. But I did not expect this. Look at that. Wow. It's beautifully painted. It's uh, Tanya O. Gourds, I guess. And it's Brandon, Florida, it says. Uh, and uh, Tanya, T-O-N-I-A, O. Gourds. Um, I guess Tanya O. is her name and Gourds is what she does. That makes too much sense. Wow. Anyway, the painting on this is beautiful, but I love that the, the gourd uh, stem, handle, long neck, whatever you call it, is, is shaped in this particular way. It's all dried out and hollowed out. I can tell that too. I think hollowed out, yes. Uh, it's all dried out and then, of course, painted, just lovely painted. But this is so clever with this long tail for the kitty and these little tiny feet that they've, they've added on. Plus, it's got whiskers. Uh, that's really, really cool. Wow. It's also probably super fragile, and I, I don't want to break it. I'm going to put it in our most special cabinet uh, as fast as I can. In fact, I'm going to get up and put it in there right now after I show it to DJ. Um, that way, uh, it doesn't have any risk of getting broken while I'm not looking or if I stand up or anything. Uh, how cool, though. Wow. Okay. I had to reorganize a little bit to make a space for it. That's perfect. So cute. All right, where were we? Uh, oh, that leaves us, I think, no? Uh, the bananas went back in, so the bananas are here. Oh, look at this thing. It's two felted balls on a string, a little one and a big one. Wow, that almost looked like a planet with a moon orbiting it. I can't just give this to you because of the string, but this is gonna be fun to play with uh, during supervised play. Look at that, like a pendulum. Like the little side better? That's fun. Okay, that's going to be a very fun toy. And look at this. This is uh, another one of the felted houses, like you said. It's green, and this one is sort of, um, gosh, I don't even know what to make of this theme. It's got uh, um, what looks like sort of a, a crescent shape by the window with a little green star. Uh, it's almost like um, 
uh, Lucky Charms or something in a way. Uh, it's also got these cute little uh, yellow dots on top, and it's got a caliper inside. Wow, he climbed right in there. He's looking forward to that. Uh, and it's got, again, an, another little tiny window over here with holes that make it even more exciting for the kitties. And uh, uh, in contrast to the last one, this top is, is stuck down, so it's not going to flap up and all around. That's it's probably going to be an improvement. And, of course, it's got the weird little whimsical handle on top, too. So it's very green and very whimsical, and I guess it's okay for him to check it out, even though we're not going to set it out right now. Uh, he can he can be the first. He can give it a little trial run. Uh, and what we'll do... Oh, no, look at that. This is just more bananas. So you've got three more bananas in there. All right. Wow, that's a lot of bananas. That's nine bananas. That is just nuts. Um, so thank you so much. All right, now's my chance to put this back away for now. Uh, oh, but I'm going to put it in this one because that's for sort of general purpose. Uh, and this is going to be endowments for the new kids. So I'm going to put all that in there. Okay. There we go. All right. Perfect. Uh, wow. Thank you so much. That is just some amazing stuff. Um, that's, uh, and the, the cute, the, the, oh, I just, I love it all. Thank you so much, Joy. Uh, it's great to, to hear from you and the, the, the stuff that you sent for the adopters. I know they're going to appreciate it so much. I'm going to toss all that right now. They're going to spread that everywhere before I can clean up after mailbag today. Uh, which is fine. That's that's fine. But this one I'm going to put, I think, in my pockets so that I can uh, uh, play with the little kittens with it. I think this this will be fun for them. Man. But, you know, supervised. Yeah, of course. So put that right in here for now. And then I'll forget about it and find it in the laundry someday. Uh, that's how those things go once in a while, isn't it? All right. This says open gently. All right. Well, we'll be very careful with our, our knife. I can see this is a recycled Amazon box, but it's a uh, it really looks like it's been through like a mad scientist because it's not, uh, it's it's not it's like a custom made box out of the parts of other boxes. Oh man, that's very Halloween uh, horror, isn't it? If you think about it that way. I don't know why I went there. All right, let's see. It's good recycling though, and I am trying to open it gently. Uh, if I can figure out what the easiest way to get in is. All right. I think we got lots and lots of tape. It's really the Frankenstein's monster of boxes here. That's what we got. Uh, let's see. All right. Very careful. Okay, we're getting there. I think that's going to do it, maybe. No, nope, not quite. Okay. Wow, some challenge, challenge tape here. Well, we almost made it. Now I see that this doesn't quite connect the way I thought it did. Great. Okay, now we're in. Whew. We're in. Uh, I see it's a Halloween pumpkin that's probably uh, somewhat delicate, so that's why we had to open it carefully. Look at that. Oh, it is. It really is a Halloween pumpkin stuffed with things. A jack-o'-lantern. Oh, and it's signed. How cute is that? It says, Happy Halloween, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, KA staff, and students. From Suzanne, who is Xanadu with a Z, Xanadu, on Discord. Uh, and it's a cut open hobby pumpkin that you've carved. I see it's a foam pumpkin, but you have carved it. That's so cool. I, I don't think I knew that was a, is that a thing? Is that what it's sold for? I guess it must be. I never realized, and uh, I had a job as a kid working in sort of a hobby and fabric store, and I know we sold stuff like this, and I don't think I realized, if, if at the time it was even true, that you could carve them like a real pumpkin. Uh, so cool. And look at that. It's a lovely cat face, too. Uh, so let's see. It's also got stuff in it. And is there, a, is there a note in there, or is it in here? I hope there's a Oh, there it is. Okay, there's a note. It's right there. Wow, lots of tissue today. Uh, that's great that we brought out the tissue pit just in time for that. The note, okay to read on stream. Okay, well, let's start there. Put my knife right here where I, I'm not going to immediately lose it. This says, Happy Halloween, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, KA staff, and students. Oh, it's a little pop-up card kitty. It's got the pop-up card theme going today, too. Oh, it's not... I see it. Expects me to do a little bit of work to make sure it doesn't unpop. Come on now, that's asking a lot of me, card. 
Well, I tried. Uh, there we go. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I can fix it when I get a piece of tape. I can make that stick the way that it ought to. Uh, oh, there we go. Now I think I got it. Okay. Needs a little extra force. All right. And a note that says... Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, K.A. staff, mom cats, and their students, long time Discord lurker, first time mailbag participant. I'm keeping my fingers crossed this package arrived before the Halloween season is officially over because, well, I can't knit, crochet, sew, or create wonderful cat toys, uh, blankets, and etc. that I see sent to the Academy. I thought K.A. might enjoy a little Halloween gift utilizing a crafting skill I haven't attempted in many years. Uh, please remove the kitty toys I placed in the pumpkin. Deploy to everyone as you see fit. Before you place the light, batteries included inside. The face, which somewhat resembles my soulmate kitty, Chloe, who went to the Rainbow Bridge a few years ago, best appears uh, in true darkness. Oh, and I see. Wow, that looks like a very powerful light, too. Uh, he sent us to put in there. I found KA about a year ago. Joined Discord. My name on Discord is Xanadu. That's Xanadu with a Z. But this year, life threw me an endless barrage of curveballs that turned me from a want-to-be participant to a KA YouTube addict slash Discord lurker. I hope to be able to chat in the upcoming months um, and look forward to DJ's special Christmas decorating extravaganza. Oh, wow. I hope we haven't oversold that because it is a very casual thing. Uh, thank you so much for all the wonderful work you and DJ do for all the special kitties that are lucky enough to enroll in KA. It's truly amazing. Your KA friend, Suzanne. Suzanne, that is really sweet of you. Thank you. You did a great job carving this pumpkin. And uh, I don't know if this light will be visible in here with all the bright lights we have for the filming, but uh, we can give it a try. And if not, that's fine. It'll look great um, for the trick-or-treaters to see. Yeah, it's, I can see it a little bit, but I don't think that's going to be too visible once we get going. Uh, still, we'll try. And you know what? This is a cool light that you sent us because I see it's got a little 12-volt plug here. If we didn't want to use batteries, we could just plug it in and have it going indefinitely. That's a nice option. Uh, so uh, let's see. There's a little. I'm just make sure that this is just tissue, and I don't want to accidentally get rid of anything that I shouldn't ought it. All right. And what have you filled it with? We have, uh, oh, these cute little uh, catnip uh skeletons mostly skeletons and little blue ghosts they're black and white um they're very cute i love the expressions on them too well i guess you can see them from there mostly this guy in the front is like a big uh like a jelly or slime or something but he, he's just black with these eyes it's super cute and i especially love up here on top we've got this uh skeleton face with a little heart for a nose and a broken heart on his chest and uh, oh, I thought this was devil horns for the guy below him. I thought he had a little red thing, too. But no, he's got devil horns on this little kitty. So cool. Wow, those are super cool. All right. Some of those might uh, have to wait for next Halloween at this rate. Oh, but look, of the same. So we got two sets of those. Super cute. Plus some Halloween uh, red, I'm sorry, orange, purple, and black uh, little fur mice. With, yes, with rattles. Oh, those are going to be so great. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here, uh, even though it probably won't be super visible yet. Oh, and the light flickers too, so it looks like a candle. So nice. Here's your lid. There we go. That's turned the right direction. What a tidy fit. And I'm so, I got to tell you, the happiest thing is that you signed the back of it like that. I, I just, I really like that. Uh, and you've got very nice handwriting too. So that's going to make it special and something that, that we can remember uh, just every year, I think. It's, it's going to be wonderful. Um, I like that. When, a lot of times when people will send us art uh, and a card, like we'll put a little pocket in the back of the card, uh, in the back of the art to put the card in so that we always have them together. Because I really like it when we know uh, who it came from and we can always sort of remember that fondly. Um, so uh, writing it right on the pumpkin is even better. Uh, thank you so much for this, Xanadu. I like it. And I don't know how visible that is on the stream, but I do know as the sun sets tonight, it's going to look great. Uh, and we'll probably put it in the front hall with the other Halloween stuff that we've got out right now. So, uh, Suzanne, uh, one more time. Suzanne, do thank you so much for that. All right, put your note back there. Uh, make sure I didn't leave any notes here. There we go. All right. Good. And I'll put this with the other note. Put this with the other notes. All right. And... 
Uh, this is also another. Okay, good. So I think uh, from here, we've got one more box, two more boxes. Um, there are a couple boxes that I didn't bring in yet, but I think what we're going to do is uh, push those till maybe next mailbag where uh, I won't have such a, a weekend full of stuff that I, I need and want to get done. Um, and maybe have an extra long mailbag next week or maybe, uh, you know, an average mailbag with a couple extra things. We'll see. Either way, I, I think that's what we're going to do. So if you sent something and you don't see it, it probably is here. Um, but we're probably going to, like I said, get to it um, next week. Um, and if, if you sent something that has to go home with Trinket or Caliper, for sure, <clears throat> before then, you can let me know, as usual, um, on Discord or by uh, writing to Headmaster at Kitten Academy, and Lisa will pass it on to me and let me know if there's something I really ought to open, uh, um, maybe in a close-up or something. We can always do that, okay? Um, but uh, we're, we're not done. We've got a couple things here uh, yet to do, and Ocean and her kitten playing behind the camera. Why can't we get this on a camera for everybody? Uh, it's not the best view, and they're going to leave now that I moved the camera, but you know it is what it is. <clears throat> All right. Uh, handle care, fragile, thank you. All right. Well, let's see. That's the only clue we've got on the outside. Somebody on Discord suggested that I give out Stroopwafel for Halloween instead of candy, which... Uh, I think they said as a joke, but I thought it was a great idea. So I bought two cases of individually wrapped Stroopwafel in case kids do come by, thinking that if, like uh, most years, they don't come by to our house at all, I'll have lots of extra Stroopwafel for myself. <laughs> uh, so that's fun. Okay. Um, oh, wow. This is way cool. I, I mean, just from the description. So this is, again, uh, from uh, Mishi. Is it Mishi60, right? I think that's it. That's what I'm going to go with. Uh, it says, to Mr. A, Dr. DJ, I love you too for what you do, Spoogles. Oh, that's so sweet. And it says it's a Ziggy Stardust cat mug. And uh, ooh, it looks like it might actually be that too. Let's, let's see. Uh, a little David Bowie. Oh, man. Too soon. Uh, oh, these are very cute. Oh, man, that is the art is really cool. I didn't expect it to be uh, sort of abstract. In fact, it reminds me a lot of the art, the folk art of Sheila uh, du Duffe, du Duffe uh, that uh, the DJ used to like so much. And I'm sure still does like. Um, it's just we've been exposed to so many new things since then. Uh, but it, it reminds me of that folk art style that's so cute with the lines and the, the bold colors. But it, it is a little a Ziggy Stardust kitty with a lightning bolt there, as you can see. Uh, just like uh, David Bowie would wear. And uh, we got the moon and stars here in the background. And uh, I can hear uh, the music in my head. It's wonderful. So that is that is just great. And uh, I guess I'm starting a collection then because we also got that Don't Stop Meow uh, with uh, Freddie Mercury on it. Uh, for some reason, he wasn't the cat, but it did have the entire audience was cats. Uh, so that's cute. And a couple of extra... Oh, this says Lonely's Only Thought. Is that the, uh, yes, it is. Lonely's Only Thought. It also says What Now Kitty Cat on Etsy. So it also says Folk Art for Loners. It's signed with three different names on Etsy. I don't know which one you would look for. Is it Folk Art for Loners, Lonely's Only Thought, or What Now Kitty Cat on Etsy? I don't know. Uh, maybe all three, but they also sent some stickers that I can add to my collection that eventually I'm just going to cover my entire laptop with this has been my plan and probably uh, now my steam deck and stuff too these are cute and this one says folk art for loners and it is very folksy and this one's got a cute little moth on it too i don't know why i know that's a moth and not a butterfly but you can tell right just by looking at it i don't i don't know why my brain knows the difference i guess maybe it's those uh the face and all the fur it looks like it's got a lot of fur on it uh, so that's cute too so uh, thank you so much, Michi. I, I love this. I love the little Ziggy Stardust. I mean, uh, Bowie's awesome uh, for sure. Uh, just and what a true artist too. Uh, no matter what you think of his music, which I do quite enjoy uh, quite a bit of. I mean, he did so many different things. He's just he's one of those musicians that you know uh, was was a, a real um, not artist. I guess is the word I'm looking for. I don't know what else to say about it. 
uh, you know, tried so many different things and uh, and styles and uh, uh, re constantly reinventing and um, avant garde. I think is maybe some of the, the the word I'm looking for. You know, just real sometimes real out there, but also appealing to everybody. Uh, just can't say enough good things. Um, all right. Uh, oh, one more box then. Okay, one more box. Uh, let's see. I'll put this over here. And we're going to do this. And it says on the box from Ginger Cat Low, which I assume is Ginger Cat Lover. Not a long stretch there. Ooh, it's a tunnel. It's a big fuzzy tunnel, I think. Is it? it yeah, I mean, I can tell. Well, not exactly a tunnel, though. It's... Kind of. It says cat foldable canopy bed, calico cat foldable, foldable canopy bed, but it's made like a tunnel. I can see the spring, the tunnel style spring, but it has a bottom like the laundry baskets that we would use. And it's got this, we got to see how this works. But hang on. This is a couple more things in here from Ginger Cat Lover. It says there's four items. Yao Catnip Rainbow Toy. Got it. Uh, the uh, s'mores, that's cute, camping s'mores, cat toy with catnip, little uh, giant marshmallow with some chocolate and some gram. Oh, man, that's, now I'm hungry. I didn't have breakfast yet. Uh, Yao catnip rainbow. All right, those are going to go over here for now. And uh, it also, oh, there it is. It also said Frisco, no, it says uh, um, Shiba meaty tender sticks, which is exactly what these are. Um, and uh, we know uh, our mom cat upstairs, everybody loves those. They're, they're very convenient. They're much less messy than the um, uh, churu uh, or baby food, um, but also uh, well enjoyed. Uh, I will I always associate them with cahoots. Not that she cares one way or the other. She'll eat literally anything. Uh, just loves her food. I can't believe how, did I mention over 20 cans of food in one day? Uh, yeah, lots. Um, but um, I'll always kind of associate that with her because I think I was feeding her one of those when she decided to go into labor or minutes before she decided to go into labor. Uh, so yeah, this does. I, so it says canopy cat foldable canopy bed is what it says, but I can't see how we're going to open this and see anything other than uh, the laundry basket design of tunnel, which is a good thing. That's, that's not a bad thing. It's just, Oh, Oh, I see. Cause it's all, it's enclosed on one side. So that is what it is. Um, but instead of uh, having it equal lengths, one side is shorter. So see, it's not like I've just forgotten to unsnap this side. Uh, there's no snap there. So it does just fold up into a canopy. Now that's clever. Now, of course, you could also do this with one of the tunnels or laundry baskets just by not unclasping one side, I suppose. But this is, uh, it's very pretty. And uh, I, think I think they're going to really enjoy this, actually. I like it. Um, I think that's going to be a hit with kitties that want to sit in a little pod. Wow. And it's pretty, too. I like the design that is sort of, uh, I don't know if I described it as calico exactly. Uh, the blue kind of throws me off in the pink. Um, but I guess it is. Why not? You can still say calico for that. And it's got a very floofy cushion. That is a thick, floofy cushion right in there. So that's very cool. And you can let me know um, if you intended it for some particular purpose or if we should just put it out when kittens or cats are ready for it. Either thing works just fine for me. That's a cool design. Uh, I haven't seen that before. That's new to me. And I definitely approve of it. I, I hope it uh, ends up hanging together for a long time, too. Uh, for now, I'm going to put it over here in the general purpose pile that we have going. And we're going to call that mailbag. Uh, I'm going to, as usual, get all this stuff cleaned up and uh, then get myself some breakfast and see about the rest of the day before uh, we do the Christmas tree. Um, again, I might start putting the tree up a little bit earlier, uh, but I think that starts at 630. And that is one of the things that I think we only broadcast for uh, Discorders, not for everybody. Um, which, you know, we, we, we don't do very much of that anymore. So I think it's okay to do, you know, a thing once in a while. And again, it's very casual too. I don't, I don't think most people would be that interested in it. If I'm honest, uh, it is usually uh, a lot of times we have the sound off because we want to play Christmas music for ourselves. Uh, a couple of years, I talked to the camera for like a good 30 minutes. Didn't even realize the sound wasn't working. Um, and so that didn't go anywhere. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, but it's that kind of thing where it's, yeah, we're going to screw stuff up and it's casual and it's no big deal. It's just DJ putting up retreat um, and uh, everybody gets to participate a little bit. So 
Uh, I am usually, yes, uh, DJ Ari specifically asked me to uh, spend my time while she's decorating the tree trying to put stupid Christmas costumes on the cats, uh, which I'll do uh, one way or another. So uh, they don't they don't usually like it very much. I usually put a costume on them for a second, hold them in front of the camera, and then they get out of it. Uh, but but it's fun. So whatever. Uh, all right, uh, let me clean this stuff up. And like I said, if there's anything that you sent that uh, you were really expecting to see today, uh, you will see it next week unless you have to write to me and let me know to do something special with it, in which case, please do. Um, but we're going to we're gonna put the couple remaining packages off. Um, and I, I don't even know what's there. I, I know we got a couple packages from uh, uh, Ruth, um, Ports Adopter Ruth, uh, which I'm really looking forward to. But... Uh, I think that stuff can can wait for a week and we'll be okay. I hope, fingers crossed. So, and there was some other stuff too. I just I happened to see that off the top of my head. So, uh, all right, uh, here we go then. All right, this is also going to try to go upstairs and let the kittens play with it if I, if I remember. Um, maybe I'll that doesn't fit. Maybe I'll put it here and see if that can if it makes it all the way upstairs or if it falls out or whatever happens. Uh, this could go up there too. They could definitely play with that. And then they could have a little bit more Halloween decor for their room. It's not especially Halloween-y at this point. Oop. Okay, well, I'm not messing the whole thing up. All right. Yep. Up and at them. She's been out there cooking with her mom uh, over Zoom, and uh, it smells good. I don't know what she's making, but good home cooking. <clears throat> Maybe it'll be some for me. We'll see. Oh, and trinket stuff, too. Yeah. I don't think we need this whole box. I'm just going to go right down there right now. So I'll put that right into trinkets and endowments. Uh, I'll, I'll pull it right out. I promise. It's not going to get put in with this stuff and lost. Oh, oh, I'll separate it out. Right this minute. I'll be back in just a minute. Don't run out, buddy. I know you want to. Like I said, he's, he wants new stuff. Oh, he's going to run out. Uh, I can't stop him now. Oh, no. All right. Well, he'll come back. Says it's some kind of chicken masala she made. Oh, it smells so good. All right. Uh, actually, this is going that direction, and the other is going the other direction. Let's pull this one at a time.
Oh, I think masala is one of those words in Indian cooking that is like a smirk. Like it's just, it means so many different things that it's, it's like it can mean anything. I don't know. I keep having that conversation with DJ. I don't think she would agree with that, but that's how, that's how it works in my head. Just so you know. All right. Uh, hang on now. Well, I think that about wraps up for mailbag for today, then. Uh, what I'm going to do next is probably uh, take Maggie and Logan and let them go eat their favorite lunch in my office, try to get myself some breakfast and a shower, change these jeans that are covered in baby food, I realize. You've probably been sitting here looking at all this disgusting mess on my jeans. Um, so, uh, yeah, take care of all that. And then see about the rest of the day. Um, well, let these kids go out and run around. <laughs> oh, she really wants to play. Wow. Uh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, I'm going to hop to it. I've got plenty of stuff to get done today. I'm sure you all do too. So, thank you so much for taking time out this morning to hang out with me a little bit. Again, sorry I was late. And again, uh, Caliper's not getting adopted today. That's tomorrow that uh, he's going. I just got the date wrong. Uh, if you're on our Discord, you should always trust what it says there in writing rather than what I say out of my mouth, um, because one of those relies on my brain and the other one uh, has plenty of editing done to it. So, um, yeah, not too reliable these days. Uh, okay, yeah, that's it. Let's wrap up the, uh, the archive right here. So if you're watching the archives, uh, assuming I eventually got them uploaded, uh, thanks for your patience there as well. <laughs> Uh, doing what we can. All right.